I just had an opportunity to speak with, uh, with the Floyd family and a group of them, most of them. They're a close, decent, honorable family, loving one another. And once again, we had the words, heard the words, and they heard them. I can't breathe. An act of brutality so elemental, it did more than deny one more black man in America his civil rights and his human rights. It denied him of his very humanity. It denied him of his life. Depriving George Floyd is, uh, as, as it deprived Eric Garner, one of the things every human being must be able to do, breathe. So simple, so basic, so brutal. You know, it's a list that dates back more than 400 years. Black men, black women, black children. The original sin of this country still stains our nation today. And sometimes we manage to overlook it. We just push forward with a thousand other tasks in our daily life. But it's always there. In weeks like this, we see it plainly that we're a country with an open wound. And none of us can turn away. None of us can be silent. None of us can any longer can we hear the words, I can't breathe and do nothing. It's long past time that we made the promise of this nation real for all people. You know, this is no time for incendiary treats, tweets. It's no time to encourage violence. This is a national crisis. We need real leadership right now. Leadership that will bring everyone to the table so we can take measures to root out systemic racism. It's time for us to take a hard look at the uncomfortable truths. It's time for us to face that deep open wound we have in this nation. The very soul of America is at stake. We must commit as a nation to pursue justice without, with every, every, and every ounce of our being. We have to pursue it with real urgency. We've got to make real the promise of America.